What's up everyone, William H here. Thank you for clicking on my video today. I wanted to give you guys a little update on my meal prep. For those of you who's been watching my videos, you guys know that I meal prep when I'm on the job. And so you don't get tired or burnt out on meal prepping guys, you always have to mix it up, right? So I wanted to make you guys a little update on how I mix up my meal preps. So if you guys seen my past video on meal prepping, I would meal prep uh, meatballs and then chicken thighs, you know, meal prep on a budget. But if you have a little more money to spend on your food, right? Because at the end of the day, you are what you eat, you know, I want to give you guys this video, you know, share with you guys exactly what I do and how I do it. And before I get into it, guys, don't forget to subscribe, 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 and like my video. And let's begin. For my first source of protein, I chose to make salmon. Salmon is one of the best source of proteins that you can eat. Sometimes the store that I buy it from, they don't like skin it right, the outer layer of the fish skin. You can do it before or you can do it after. I always like to do it before. And I always like to cook it on low temperature, right? Make sure it cooks all the way through and put good seasoning that you actually like, right? Try it out, guys. If you have not meal prepped any fish whatsoever, try out. If salmon's too expensive for you, and you can always get trout, right? Trout is pretty good as well. Um, I meal prep it every here and there. Just a little quick tip. When you're taking the skin off the meat, you wanna make sure you be really careful, guys, cause you can really cut yourself. I wanted to give you guys a little nutrition fact about salmon. Salmon is a really great source of protein. It has a lot of B vitamins. It's good source of potassium. And most importantly, it contains omega-3 fatty acids, which is really healthy for your brain. The second thing I like to do is chopping up my potatoes, get them into a French fries form, right? Little, like little sticks. And I like to drizzle it with olive oil, not too much, just enough for it to get on all of the little French fries. And I mix it up with my hands and then I like to put seasoning that I actually like, right? And I also put a little bit of salt. And you might be asking, William, why French fries? And Guys, I'm not going to lie to you. I like french fries the way I do them, right? And you can go to any fast food restaurants and order some fries. But you don't know 
how those fries are made, right? You don't know what kind of oil they use. You don't even know if they're potatoes, right? You can also do sweet potatoes, but in this video, I decided just to make regular potatoes, right? And try it out. Who knows? Maybe you'll like it. And the third thing I like to do is I like to put my vegetables in the pot and I just steam my vegetables guys. It's nothing, you know, nothing out of the ordinary. I just put a little bit of salt, a little bit of seasoning on my vegetables as well. The fourth thing that I do is I do sizzle steak. So my sizzle steak, I got I actually got a thin cut, that way it cooks faster. I also do flank steak, also do other types of steaks, right? I like to experiment. Like I said, do foods that you look forward to eating, right? And you know, I love steak, guys. If you guys know me personally, you guys know that I love meat, right? Any type of meat there is, I'll eat it, right?
I always recommend you guys to actually try it out, you know? Who knows, maybe you like to feel good. Maybe you like to save money. And just maybe, who knows, maybe you'll lose weight by meal prepping, right? And that about wraps it up for my video, guys. Don't forget to subscribe and like. And I'm going to leave you with a closing message. You can do anything you put your mind to. Hope you guys have a blessed day. And I'll see you in the next one.